while we're standing, I'd like to read with you from the book of Revelation in chapter 10. From verse 1 to 11. That's actually the whole chapter. Very short chapter. <coughs> Amen. Amen. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. Jinonda Akapeka gore, murara ungu wakanga uri pamsoro wake, chiso chake chakanga chakaita sezua, netsoka zake sembiru zomoto. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth. Wakanga akabata buku duku yakazaru kamuruoko wake, akaisa rutsoka wake roru ujgi pamsoro pe gungwa, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roared. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. Akadani zira nezwiguru seshumba inorira. Iye wakati adani zira kutinimira kunomwe kukabuditsa mazwi ako. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. Zino kuti nila kunome kwa kati kwa reva mazwi ako, ndakanga ndonyora, ndika nzwa inzwirichi wa kudenga richiti, zarira zarewa nukuti nila kunome usa zinyora. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven. Ipapa mutuma uya wandaka wana amiri pamsoro pe gungwa na pamsoro pe nyika. Wakasimu zira ruokoro wake, roru uchikiku denga. And swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that therein are, and the earth and the things that there are, uh, therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that they shall be time no longer. Akapika na iye urimu penyo na kusinga peri peri, wakasinga denga ne jirimo, ne nyika ne jirimo, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when it shall begin to sound, the mystery of God shall be finished, as he had declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake, unto me again and said go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth ipapo inzwiria randakanzwari chibva kudenga rakataura zvekwandiri richiti enda utore buku duku yakazauruka iri muruoko rwomutuma umire pam umire pamsoro pe gungwa na pamsoro pe nyika and i went unto the angel and said unto him give me the little book and he said unto me Take it, eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Ndika enda kumutuma, ndika atikwa ari, ndipei bukuduku, ee akatikwa ndiri, tora, uijge, ichava visa mudumbu mako, asimu muromo mako, ichanaka so uchi. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Ipapo ndakatora bukuduku muruoko romutuma. Ndika ijga, ikana kamumuromo mangu so uchi. Asindakati nda ijga, mudumbu mangu mukavavisa. And he said unto me, thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Vakati kwandiri, unofanira kuporofita je. Pamsoro pava no vajinji, nenduzi, nendimi, namazi mambo. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. You may be seated. Isheva wezire marupa fadzo pagwere ngwa kushokorao. Garai zhenyu pasi. Amen. Amen. Maybe while we sit, we can 
read together from the book of uh, Joshua in chapter 1 Chikara zilipe sitiverenge mva mbukura Joshua chitsauko chekutanga from verse 1 to verse 9 Verenga verse 1 kusika verse 9 so that we get acquainted kutiti kufa tibatani pamwe chete with uh, what we're talking about by the grace of God Ne zvatiri kutaura mutsuro pazo nenyasha za mwari After the death of Moses the servant of the Lord it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua the son of Nun, Moses minister saying Zino Moses muranda wa Jehova wakati afa Jehova akataura na Joshua mwana komana wa Nun muranda wa Moses akati Moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over this Jordan thou and all these people unto the land which I do uh, give to them even to the children of Israel Moses muranda wangu afa zino simuka iwe uyambuke Jordan uru Iwe na vano avavose muende kunyika yandino hapa ivo vana va Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. Zimbo imene ime icha tsikwa nitsoka dzenyu, ndaka kupai iyo, sezo ndaka taura na Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and and to the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your cause kuva murenje rere banon iri kushikira parwizuru kuru irwo rwizi euphrates ninyika yose yavaheti kushikira kugungwa guru kurutivirwa mavira zuva ndiyo nyika yenyu there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life as i was with moses so i will be with thee even uh, I will not fail thee, no forsake thee. Hakuna munhu uchagona kumira pamberi pako, mazuva ose upenyo wako. Ndishava newe, sezo andaisiva na Moses. Andinga kuregi, kana kukusia. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shall thou divide an inheritance, the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Simba utsunge moyo nokuti uchagarisa vana ava naka yandaka pikira madzibaba avo kuti ndichavapa iyo ive yavo only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law kuti uchenjere kuita murairo wose wandaka raira Moses muranda wangu usatsauka kwa uri kana kurudyi kana kuruboshwe kuti ubudirire kose kwa unoenda this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Buku ii yomura iro aifanere kubapa mromo wako, asu unofanere kuhirangari ramaskati na usiku, kuti uchenjire kuhita zose zwa kanyoro wamo, nukuti nukudaro, uchazuwani ramufaro panzira yako, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Kwa andina kukura ira ere, simba utsunge moyo, usachika kana kufunduskwa, neguti Jehovah mwari wako, unewe kose kwa unoenda. Amen. Amen. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word this morning. We continue as I was with Moses and see the kind of thoughts that we would like to get into by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. And uh, we would like to center this morning on the fact that the bride has got a ministry. Amen. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. There is no way the bride can have a ministry unless they've got a message that they are that they are preaching because that must be part of the ministry. Amen. Amen. We we believe God has raised us in this end time. He is not bringing up another organization around to add on to the 
almost a thousand that's on the earth today. Awasku wezera isu se boka kuitari mesangano pa masangano aripo akawanda nudarika zuru. But this is a move of God. As uku kubata kwa mwari. Amen. Something that is happening in this end time. Chimwe chini chirikuto itika munguwa ino ye kuguma. Amen. Amen. Uh, we remember Brother Branham one time. Tinurangarira Brother Branham pane ime munguwa. When he visited this other farm. Uh, and he sees a citrus tree in the yard. Pawaka shanyira rime purazi wakaona mutiwe mu citrus. And uh, one of the branches of the citrus uh, was orange, another branch was tangerine, another one was tangelo, natchez, and all the different family in the citrus. And this was at the place of John Sharet. And then he called him up and says, I don't understand what is happening here. It's one tree, but yet it has got all the different branches of the citrus. And says, no, Brother Branham, this, these other branches were grafted in. But the original one is an orange tree. So he asks, how does it work? He says, uh, when you see this other branch coming up, you pull it out and then you graft in whatever citrus family tree that, that there is, and then this one is going to grow. Ukawana orange wako burisa davirao uno dembura watora mume mutu m citrus una matiza ipapo asimutu uchaberika mucheru wao kwete mu orange wepa mutu wao una matiza. So if you put in a lemon branch, that whole branch is going to be producing lemons. Ukaisa davi remundimu mutio davi rocha burisa mandimu. And it will be thriving from the food from the original tree. Amen. Amen. And the Natchez branch, the same. Ne, David Tangelo, Natchez. tangerine, Tangelo, grapefruit, tangerine. Ne, grapefruit, as long as they are in the same family. Amen. Amen. So he says, so are we able still to find another orange branch coming up? Or some other oranges coming from these same branches because it is coming from the same orange tree. And he says, we will never get an, any orange from all these other branches. But if this tree produces another branch originally from the main main tree then we'll be able to have oranges kunze kwe kungoti iwe mutiwe pa kutanga uyu ukabuditsa rao davi pachao ndipo patinozoana ma orange this was a normal discussion kwaive yaive naurira no emazuva ese and brother bram says praise the lord brother bana vakati tinorumbidza ishe he says praise the lord what sikanzi munoti kurumbidza ishe chiko amen because you see, you'll be going in the natural, and then the spiritual comes in, and then it opens up. This is it. The, the original tree at Pentecost. That's a religion, right? And all the other religious groups. They are thriving from, from the same word. But denomination does not come from the world. It is man-made. Is that right? But because it is a religious move, it is grafted in. Thriving from the same food that is here. But it does not produce the word of God as their fruit. Because it's not original. It is only grafted in. Amen. Amen. Then he said. 
Methodists will always produce Methodists. The Methodist, Vanongo Berekao, my Methodist. Baptists will always produce Baptists. Which Baptist, Vanongo Berekawa, Nama Baptist. Lutheran will always produce Lutheran. Which Lutheran, Vanongo Berekawa, Nama Because that is the grafted branch. Amen. Amen. It will never produce the world. Because it's only a grafted affair. Amen. Then he says, when that original tree produces another branch, not grafting, but producing its own. It is going to produce the original fruit again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have been moving through history. And we saw it was a time of church formation church joining and all the different things. And we never saw the original thing coming out. And Brother Branham said there has been churches, churches. And brides, brides. Says, but there is coming a bride. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Coming from the original world. And we are living in that day. When the origins are back again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are not denomination. But we are coming from the, from the original tree itself. This is an, an original shoot. Therefore, this group in this end time must produce again what we saw happening in Pentecost. And we are supposed to be writing another book of Acts by the same spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of Acts is full of uh, works from the apostles. Is that right? And the title of the book is Acts of the Apostles. But there was a correction made. It's not the apostles that worked. But it is the Holy Spirit. In the apostles. That was doing all that work. If the same spirit. That was at the beginning comes back again. And begins to anoint a people now. We're expecting to see the same book again. We're expecting to see the same result again. So that when people will be testifying of what God is doing for them in their lives, you get confused. Because I'm going to say, what chapter of the book of Acts is that? Amen. Amen. Then I'm going to say, it's a continuation of the same book. It's the same God again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever God is, we know him by his characteristics. Amen. Amen. We are going to notice that this is God. This is not man. But it is God that is doing it. Listen to this quote. Amen. Question and answers. 233. The question is. Will the bride of Christ have a ministry before the rapture? Amen. What a question. Hey, Amen. Because the rapture is coming. But before the bride is taken away, are they going to be having a ministry? The answer is sure. Amen. Amen. That's what's going on right now. Is that right? You see, the bride of Christ certainly. It is the message of the hour. Do we have the message of the hour? That's a ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The bride of Christ, 
She consists of apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists and pastors. Mwenga wa Kristo Jesu pachoko ali unosanganisira ama apostle ama profita vadzidzisi vavangeri says is a right. Sikanzi ndizo here. That's the bride of Christ. Sure. Ndio mwenga wa Kristo choko ali. She has got a ministry. Ane shumiro. Great ministry. Mwenga ane shumiro huru. Is the ministry of the hour. Ndio shumiro yengu vaino. It will be so humble. Inenge yaka zvinini pa. Hallelujah. Amen. So you don't look down upon yourself. Sakai kuna kuzvitarisira pasi. It's a great ministry. Ishumiro huru. Amen. Amen. It's a ministry of the hour. Ndiyo shumiro yengu vaino. Amen. Amen. Of the hour because this is the time that we're living in. Yengu vaino nekuti ndiyo nguva yatirukurara maiso. We don't preach the message of yesterday. Ati paridze maridzo yane zuro. We preach the message of today. Tino paridza maridzo yanas. But this is this is where we're living. Nekuti tirukurara mamuna nas. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ being manifested Jesus Christ to achiratizwa in the hour that we are living munguva yatirukurarama is all right dizoka when god revealed his message in the time of luther mari pavakazarura mari dzoya munguva ya luther that manifestation is jesus christ kuratidzwa kwe mari dzoyo aive jesus christ he moved to john wesley vakafamba kuenda kuna wisiri and he revealed his word vakazarura shokuravo revelation was Jesus Christ Chizaruro ichi aive Jesus Christ because he is always in his word Nekuti vano anika nguva dzose mishokura Nas He has revealed his word again Vakazarura shokuravo zvakare And this revelation Chizaruro ichi is Jesus Christ Ndi Jesus Christ Amen Amen and every man and every woman Murume wese nemudzimai wese That's living in their day Varikurara mamuzuva ravo They must be identified Vanofana kubatanidzwa with the message of their day Nemaridzo yezuva ravo Hallelujah Hallelujah Then the message of your day Zvino maridzo yezuva rako must be part and parcel of your life Inofana kuve chikamu chehupenyo wako So much that you and the message must be one Kushikira pakuti iwe nemaridzo yakagamuchira muno vachinhu chimwe is that true? Amen. Amen. You are doing what the message is telling you to do. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 We, we, we are looking here what happened in the first Exodus, right? Amen. Amen. The man whom God called was Moses and he was identified with the pillar of fire. Amen. Amen. When the pillar of fire arrives, then we know it's no longer a men's affair. It's God who is working. Is that right? So, the pillar of fire came to lead the people. When they were in motion, in the in the wilderness their eyes were watching the pillar of fire meso avanga katarisa shongo yemoto when the pillar of fire turns right pillar of fire payaenda it means the people down here must also turn right. It's him that was giving direction. When the pillar of fire goes straight, it means they also must go straight. When the pillar of fire is stationary, it means everybody must stop. He was the leader. Amen. He knew the way. The people do not know the way. Same applies to our day. Amen. Amen. The pillar of fire gave instructions to the prophet of the day. Moses did not have a personal a message. Moses anga asina shokora ke pachati. But his message came from God. Asi shokora aive na uraka vaguna mwari. If he needed to know anything. Kana pane chaida kuziva. He would check from the pillar of fire. Ayi mzwaku vaku shongo ye moto. Is this what happened in our day too? Dozo wakai tika wa ere mzwa redu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet got his inspiration and information from the same pillar of fire. Mporofita wedu aka wana chisoro chake. Neku femerwa. Nezo aira ira waku vaku shongo ye moto. There is somebody in the pillar of fire. Pane munu aive mshongo ye moto. There is Someone who speaks from the pillar of fire. It's not just a fire. But it is clothing. And somebody is in there. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And that one was Almighty God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. So today, we know the someone that is leading us. And wherever this message is preached, the same pillar of fire must be present. Amen. Amen. To guide us, to lead us, Amen. And to speak to us. We're so thankful for what God has done to us in this day. Amen. Amen. Two people were involved in the, in the first exodus. Amen. Amen. That was Moses. Moses. And when Moses died, Moses Bakafa, we see Joshua carrying over. Amen. It was not an assumption. But it was God who had to choose Joshua. Amen. Amen. And say, as I was with Moses, so will I be with you. Amen. Amen. It was a great encouragement on Joshua to know that if the same God who was with Moses comes to be with me, I know I'm protected. I have got leadership. I have got guide in my life. Amen. Amen. That same God is going to effect what Moses spoke about. Because Joshua was going to cross the river Jordan and divide the inheritance to the people. Is that right? Do we have inheritance also? Yes. Peter tells us that we have got inheritance that moth, rust can never destroy. But it has been reserved for us in this end time. Ready to be revealed in this end time. But we are living in the time of revelation. So that which is our inheritance is not locked up in a cupboard again. No, no. It's opened and revealed to us. So each person has got to look up and check what their inheritance is all about. It's not natural inheritance. Thieves can steal natural inheritance. Fire can consume natural inheritance. You might even lose it any time. But your inheritance. Amen. Not a natural land. But the word of God. That has been revealed to us in this day. When it finds a place in your heart. It will put you into position. And nobody will take the position from you. Amen. Amen. Position, remember, is a place of power. You can overcome the devil when you are standing in your position. When you do not know your position, the devil is going to push you around. Amen. But you, when you know who you are and where you go to stand, you are an overcomer. This is what this message has come to do. To make sure you know who you are. Amen. Amen. And where you are standing. By the grace of God. Amen. Amen. You are not just one of the dwellers of this earth. But almighty God. Has put his own gene on the inside of you. You have got a representation of God in you. You. So whenever you are walking, it's not just you walking. But Almighty God is in you. Did He not promise? I will be with you, even in you, till the end of the age. Amen. Amen. We love the promise. Amen. Amen. Because 
He is not just walking behind us. But behind, ahead, on all the sides and inside. What else do you want? When you have one like that, who made a promise? Amen. Amen. You may not have anybody physical around you to protect you. But Almighty God, Amen. Has got somebody close to you that is stronger than any human being. Amen. Amen. He says, The angel of the Lord. Uh, he encamps around all those that fear him and protects them. Is that scripture? Yes. We are so glad that the angel of the Lord protects you. Is that right? Amen. 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 See, brother, you are, you are so small and maybe in your community you are good for nothing. Maybe they don't even respect you in your locality. Right? Maybe everybody say this thing. Instead of this man, they say this thing. Maybe they say this thing. You don't mean anything to them. Maybe in your school where you are learning, you could be even last. Coming to sports, you do nothing. Coming to volleyball, you are throwing it out of the field. Whatever, brother, you can't even kick the ball straight. And they say, this one is useless. Okay? That's what men say. But brother, we are not worried about men's testimony about us. It's protecting you. Is that right? What grace, brother? And what more do you want from the Almighty God? Amen. Amen. He's taking good care of you. We love that. Amen. Amen. Are you in church? Amen. Amen. So that we won't waste what we're talking about. Amen. Amen. It's no longer time for the message to go above your heads now. It went over the heads of them in the days of Brother Branham. But today, you must understand. Amen. Amen. Because the message is for you. Though it was preached 50 years ago, but it, it is for you. Remember, he was saying, I'm talking to the people that's in the jungles of Africa. And that time you were not even born. But that message was waiting. And circling up there waiting for you to be born. And waiting for you to mature. Now that you are mature and baptized. And believing the message. It's yours. Is this what is happening, brothers? Yes. This is what is happening. So you take that tape and listen. You're going to realize that God is talking to you direct. Although it was preached some 50 plus years ago. But it is actually for you. In as much as you read the book of Psalms. Or any other book in the Bible. Written thousands of years ago. When you take the book, you begin to open. And you realize he's talking to you. You personalize the scripture. Then it means something to you. This is how you read. 
You don't read it like history. You don't read it like just proverbs. Bring it into present tense. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's talking to you. Is that true, brother, sister? Yes. That is what he's doing. Even when the tape now goes to praying for the sick. Don't, don't close it off. And say, no, 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 I was not even there in the prayer line. This is only for the people in the prayer line. Fifty some years ago, I was not even there. So I better switch it off. Wait. Mira. Just continue a little bit. And You're going to be so surprised. Amen. Amen. That he was even talking about you then. Praise God. Amen. 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 And then you hear Brother Bram talking. That time you'll be listening to the tape. You might be having a, a maybe a, a, a red jersey with you. Amen. And you're having a backache. Right there, the, the prophet will say, and that lady there. He says, look at, the, look at that light hanging on that woman with the red jersey. He says, but I've got red also. And he continues on to say, you are suffering from a backache. He says, that's me. He says, if you believe, go home and you are healed. Things happen like that. Don't take it like coincidence. You don't take it like coincidence. No, no. In the word of God, there's nothing coincidence. Praise God. There's only one thing that you must do. If it is pointing you direct, you just stand up. Sister. You scream for joy. Amen. Amen. Because he's talking about you. You, your healing has been circling for years. Amen. Until this time, you know this is me. Do you believe that? And not only healing, but him revealing himself he must reveal himself to you and you got to know him by revelation do you see that brother sister because remember the seven seals are revealed in our day is that true? We are living in a time when the seven seals are revealed. Amen. Amen. Revealed to an age. Revealed to, to the people. But if you do not accept the revelation, it's not for you. If you do not want, it's not yours. But you have got to accept it personally. Yes, for the age is revealed. Amen. But he's not coming to rapture an age. He's coming to rapture a people. Amen. So the people who is you, Man, you no got to way. accept it by revelation. You must personalize it. Because it's power that has been unleashed in our day. Amen. Amen. You got to receive it and see what God has got to do to you. Amen. 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 Do you love the Lord? Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 So, we read a scripture this morning. To us is familiar grounds. Amen. Amen. You know, the prophet preached the message of spiritual amnesia. Alright? Spiritual amnesia. Ah, better. Okay. 
<laughs> and he says, Wakati. it's a sickness. Hanzi, Amen. Amen. And this sickness is like a person who is holding between two opinions. You are hanging between two. You are not solid on either of them. He says it is mainly found among soldiers. Amen. Amen. And they even forget about themselves where they come from he even forgets his wife and his children and his identity it's a terrible sickness isn't it when you don't even know about yourself amen but, but it's a sickness you know what he said if you want to help that person come out of amnesia. He says there's only one thing that you must do. Take him to familiar grounds. Amen. Amen. You walk with him in familiar grounds. Take him to his house and tell him, you know, do, do you know this place here? No, I don't know. Do you know this door here? It's him that bought the door. Do you yeah. know this door here? I don't seem to. But how about this mat here with your name on? Commit oh yeah, that's my name. Uh, and he looks around and says, oh yeah, this is my house. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That is the only way. You can remove amnesia. Revelation chapter 10. Revelation chapter 10. The one that we read. To you, brother. This is familiar grounds. Amen. Amen. But this is a current scripture. This is what is happening now. Don't put it tomorrow. Don't push it to yesterday. It is happening now. Is that right? Yes. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. 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 But for you, he is not in yesterday. Because yesterday is finished. Yesterday is now history. He is not in tomorrow. Tomorrow is not here yet. He is still coming. But he is in today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Want you to know him as he reveals himself today. This is what gives you eternal life. Are you getting that? You knowing him as history does not give you eternal life. Is that right? You knowing him as future does not give you eternal life. Is that right? But eternal life is when you see his revelation and manifestation today what he is doing now. That is where eternal life is. Is that right? The prophet says many people in the days of Jesus Christ they were thanking God for what he did in Moses. And all the way past. And they will thank God. About what is going to happen tomorrow. Amen. Amen. Yet. In the day they were living in. Jesus was walking up and down the sea of Galilee. Performing miracles. But the Pharisees were still singing in the churches. I know we are Jesus. Jesus is coming. I know you are Jesus. Jesus is coming. But he's there. As told, what has happened? They are thinking that the way he comes is not like what he did. They've got their own imagination. Is that right? 
They've got their own imagination of how he comes. But brother, Jesus, Jesus does not do the way you think. He has got a message and he comes according to his word. Amen. Amen. Today too, people of today are thanking God for what happened yesterday. Amen. Amen. Thank God for Moses. Thank, thank God for Isaiah. Moses. Thank God for Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And all the prophets. Is that right? This is right. Even in the message. Are you here? Amen. The fear to preach about the message of the hour. The fear to talk about Brother Branham. They even fear to hang up a picture. They don't want to be identified. You ask them, why don't you even put a picture? You must be identified with a picture. Or the picture of fire. Says I know we're doing it for visitors. They might misunderstand you. That you've got a picture of a man. And uh, the, the fear about the cloud. So, you know, you know, visitors, we don't know what they think like. Brother. We want everybody to know what we believe. Old people, visitors, they must know God sent a prophet in our day. And that is the message we preach. And we quote from that same message. That is the life we have. And that is the hope we have. And that is the power that is running in us. Amen. Amen. We fear for nothing. We want everybody to know what we believe. Is that true? Amen. Amen. But thank God for everybody else behind there. They, 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 they only want to preach the Bible. Say, just preach the Bible. That's it. You, you know you are in the, Just refer one or two things about Brother Branham, but actually just preach the message, the, the Bible. Brother, we preach the Bible here. We quote Paul. We quote all the prophets. We quote William Branham. Because it is the same inspiration. Do you believe that? The same, the same Holy Ghost. That wrote the Bible. The same Holy Ghost. That wrote the message. This is why they're all in line. There is no difference between the scripture here in the Bible and the spoken word. Because the author is the same. Amen. Amen. So while here we're in the message, brother, we. We know what God did back there. And we know what is, what is coming. But we must exalt Jesus. For what he is doing now. Amen. Amen. You must know the path of prophecy. That you are fulfilling now. You must know. Where the Holy Spirit is centering on right now. Amen. Amen. You are not living in the day of John the Baptist. You are living in this day. And you must thank God for today. Brother Brahma was asked of all the ages past and present which of these ages if you were asked to make a choice which one would you, would you want to live in? It says this age. This age. Amen. Amen. We two brothers. We are happy to be living in this day. Amen. Amen. Somebody, I heard somebody saying the other time. If the people that lived in post day were living in this day. They're not going to make it. Amen. Amen. Because they were, they were ready for the days of Paul. Amen. Amen. 
you are a special breed of people you are mando yakatsaurwa yemunhu amen amen you are a special breed uri mando yakatsaurwa yewe of believers yevatendi amen amen so when god was allotting the people that will live in which age mari pavaisa vanhu muzvizvarwa zvakasiyana siyana amen he could have put you in the days of John the Baptist, right? But God is not this one. This breed is for the end time. Amen. Amen. You are made special to combat the problems of Laodicea. Amen. Amen. He did not want to waste these people by living in the easier ages. Hey, brother. Hey, man. Amen. But God wanted you to be alive today. Why? You can overcome WhatsApp. You can overcome Facebook. You can overcome Twitter. Instagram. Instagram. All these things. That's happening today. Amen. Amen. Those guys back there would have been swallowed long time. Prove it, brother. You must prove it now. That you are a special breed. By overcoming. Hey, brother. Amen. You better prove it now. Amen. Amen. Prove. And say, Lord, I thank you that you made me to live in this day. I can, live, I can overcome Jezebel. I can overcome all the Moabitish women. Sister, you can overcome all the Gigashites. Do you? Yes. Because the ability to overcome is in you already. How many of you believe that? Amen. Amen. Young and old. We can manage that. Amen. Amen. God has given us the grace to live message life by the way you dress. Amen. By the way you do your face. And the way you do your hair. Is that right? You have got the ability to overcome. Amen. Amen. Familiar grounds. Amen. Amen. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven. Amen. That is an end time scripture. Amen. Amen. He's talking about this. And this is what happened in our day. Praise God. Amen. And the scripture goes all the way down. Amen. To show us the time that we're living in. That he has one foot on the sea and another one on the land. Mugungwa, merime gumbo, panyika. Aka sumu za rogo wake. Akati nguwa apasi sina. Is that right? Nizwa ere. When he say time shall be no longer. Pa akati nguwa apasi sina. He's talking about this very time. Maruku taura pa msore pe nguwa yedu ino. Amen. Amen. Because we are living in three three dimensions. Is that right? Tukura rama muzero zi tatu. Nizwa ere. Meta. Light and time. Chieza ne nguwa. Is that right? Nizwa ere. So time is no longer. Because very soon, this time is going to be swallowed into eternity. So get ready. Amen. When this time is swallowed into eternity. Is alright? But verse 7. I see verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall begin to sound the mist of God shall be finished. It's a special day for the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. Amen. And that voice is it's not just coming for one day and it's finished. We are still living in that day. And that voice 
is is not only for brothers. It's for sisters also. It's not only for madalas. Young people also. It's not for officers. Only. Everybody. Amen. Amen. That heard this message. That's the voice we're talking about. Amen. Amen. So, as long as we're in this message, we're living in the days, not day, days of the of, of the seventh angel. That's the time when this voice is being declared. And it is for you. Whether you want it or not. You go to comply. With the requirements of this voice. Is that right? We go to comply. Because we are supposed to have a, a plumb line. Something that is going to show you whether it is straight or not. Is the message. Everybody must have an absolute. In your life, the way you conduct your family, the way you conduct your business, and all your affairs you need an absolute something that is going to tell you this is the only way not two ways but the only way is that right? Amen. and that one is the message of the hour he brought a messenger Amen. with a message for us and we have got to abide by what he said. Is that right? God brought in that one. Amen. Amen. And did you know that it is during the time of his ministry that anything that is called mystery is revealed in that day. Is that right? The mystery of God shall be finished. It was in his mind before. And nobody knew about it. But Amos told us that God has got secrets. But he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophet. So in our day, the prophet came. And when he arrived, we knew this is the time when the mystery of God shall be finished. Is that right? Amen. Amen. When this bride is taken away by the rapture. Amen. Moses and Elijah Moses na area are coming back to the Jews to preach a message of the rapture for them to Is that right? It's a message of the resurrection. But Moses and Elijah As Moses na area they don't have a new message. Amen. Amen. But they're taking from what has been revealed in our day. Is that true? It has been revealed in our day. And this is what God has done. Is that right? Amen. This is the revelation that God has given to us. And that is where our power for the rapture is laid. Praise God. Amen. So chapter 7, sorry, chapter 10 and verse 7. Chapter 10 by verse 7. It's a scripture that is describing one man's ministry. Is that right? In the days of the voice of the seventh angel. One man. We don't have several seventh angels. Is one. And that one must be identified by the scripture. Is that right? And we don't have an eighth one. Atina eighth angel. We don't have a ninth one. Atina Seven is enough. 
Zinomwezo akakwana. That's God's mathematics. Ndio samu za mwari. Is that right? This way. So this is the last one. Ndiye mtumwa wa kupetsia. We don't have another one that is coming. Atina mumwa ya chauya to expound. Kana kuzo dzira. On, on what has been said already. Kudu dzira zakato tauru wakare. Is that right? This way. Yes, this is what we know. Ndio satino dzira isu. Praise God. Amen. But after he is gone. Mushure mukunga mtumwa wa shino mwa aenda. There is a people Pane vanu that is on the earth. Bari panyika. That have got to take a step forward. Wanafana kutora danu kwenda mberi. To take up a ministry. Kutora shumiro. Is that right? Dizoere. And go ahead with the ministry. Go enda mberi ne shumiro. The same one. Shumiro imeche. That God brought for us in this end time. Yataka unzuro na mwari mazwe kukuma. Somebody has got to, some people have got to continue with that. Pane vanu wanafana kwenda mberi ne shumiro. Is that true? Because the God of William Branham is not dead. Neguti mwari wa William Branham anakufa. He is alive. Mupenyu and is looking for a people. Arukutsa gavano. That's ready for use. Vaka gadzira kushandiswa. The God of Moses did not die. Mwari wa Moses anakufa. But as soon as Moses went, mushure makunge Moses aenda. There was a Joshua. Paka wa Joshua. Who was ready? Anga akato gadzirira. Is that right? Dizoyere. To proceed with the same message. Amen. Amen. It was the same God of Moses. That came to tell Joshua. You must be courageous. Shinga. This word of the law. Must never depart out of your mouth. In other words. Keep quoting. Nemamu mashoko. Ramba uchi tora sa kataura na Moses. Keep quoting. Ramba uchi tora sa kataura na Moses. Repeat what he say. So kora sa kataura na Moses. And you are going to be prosperous. Ucha budirira. And have a good success. Ucha fara mune sa unenge uchita. Praise God, brother. Maringa. How many of you want to be prosperous in the world? Manga nanda kubudirira mashoko. You want to have good success. Uda kubudirira ere sa kanaka. Keep quoting. Ramba uchi tora sa kataura. Repeat what he say. Zokora zaka taura ni profita. Amen. Amen. The the prosperity he was talking about in the scripture. Kubudira kuruguta ura mama kuaro. It's not about something physical. As this is kubudira pasi ni sepanya ama. There's no I must have this message so that I can I can have a fleet of cars. Reka ndi tende marito i kutindi zaze. Of my own houses. Reka ndi zaze yati yangu ni moto kari do ita sisa babremba. Now that can happen. Zino kuna kuitika isozo. Is that right? Amen. You can pray for that and God can give you. Uno kuna kuzi zina matira mareva kakupa. That's not a problem. Arisida mbuziko. But this is not the prosperity he's talking about. Asi aisiri webudiriwe rikuta uru wapana. Although God can give that one to you. Nekuti mareva no kuna kukupa budiriwe yoyo. Is he able to do that? Manu kwa nsa reku zita. Yes. Wongu. He can do all things. Manu kuna kuta zinu sese. Is that right? This way. Only believe. Tenda chete. All things. Zinu sese. Are possible. Sino kwa nisika. Amen. Amen. But let these ones come. Asile ke isi zuye. While you are pursuing spiritual prosperity. Iwewe uchitsaga budiriro epamwe ya. Amen. Why? Seek ye first. Saka mari kutanga. The kingdom of heaven. Umambo ukudenga. And his righteousness. Nekurura makwamu. All these other things. Jime zese isi. Will be added. Zichazo puwa. Amen. Amen. Don't exchange. Haikona kuzipesa nisa. Don't twist. Haikona kuzipesa nisa. Take it the way it came. Tora nenzira ya shakao ya nazo. Amen. Amen. And then God is going to bless you for that. Mwari wacha kuropa faza nazo. So remember. Rangarirai. The same God of Moses. Mwari umechete wa Moses. Was the same God of Joshua. Di angari mwari wa Joshua. Did God come to prove to Joshua that he was the same? Mwari wakao yere kuso simbisa kuna Joshua kutangu wari mwari umechete. And are we sure he is the same God of, of Moses? Yes. When Joshua went up on the mountain, Joshua paga kuira komo. And after he knew that wherever my foot goes on, I possess it already. Mushi na meunga zote pose pande ndai sa soka zangu ndato tora. He knew now that we have crossed Jordan. Aka ziva tu tayambu ka Jordan. Our job is to fight. And take possession of the land. Is that right? He was up on that mountain. And he was just looking around. As a general. He must know while he looks at Jericho. How 
are we going to attack it? How are we going to make our soldiers move? To go and attack Jericho and overcome. So while he was up there. Amen. He meets a man. About 200 pounds in weight. Amen. And he had his sword open. Ready. Praise God. Joshua did not shake. Joshua Kuchka. He was a general, remember. Generals must not shake. Amen. Amen. If you are put in a place of responsibility, Ukaisho you don't shake. Ye don't quiver. Amen. Amen. Wait for whatever will come. You say, whatever comes is going to see me. Amen. 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 Mothers must not cry before the children when money don't seem to be fitting up properly. Well, they're also going to cry. Nobody's going to help another. Amen. Amen. Daddy, don't cry. Because this one says school fees, daddy. This one says in uniform also. We are this uniform. One, I'm going for a trip. <laughs> and father is just looking and says, don't cry. You must not cry. Do you know why? If our God is Jehovah Jireh. Amen. He has put a portion of himself in you. Tell your children. I'm Jehovah Jireh. What do you want? Did Jehovah Jireh? Amen. Yes. Ongo. He has put a portion of himself in you. Mauri. Amen. Amen. Don't you protect your family. If a, a, a sound comes in at night, are you going to cover your face? And everybody says, What is that, Daddy? What is that? Did you hear that? Don't, don't, don't worry. I'm going to take a look Jehovah Shama. <laughs> you wake up. Amen. Amen. I say, what, which direction? What is, Russia, Europa, Amen. Amen. Which direction did the sound come from? Hey, Russia, Europa, you are ready now. Amen. Amen. Whatever comes, must see me. Chero because Shawuya. I am the protector of my family. He has put a portion of himself in you. And he is doing it through you. Don't cry, my brother. Amen. Amen. Because God is around to take care of your family. Is that right? Yes. Do you know these are the time when Brother Bram got home and uh, Mida is all tensed up and uh, she's all nervous. Joseph is beating all the toys down and all the children, brother, everything is out of keter. And Brother Bram comes in. Did he cry? No, he did not cry. He knew this situation. I've got to take it under my control. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, he could have said, Jehovah Shalom has arrived. Jehovah, <laughs> Amen. Amen. Then he started working out. Amen. Amen. And things went right. Because he went in the kitchen, took the apron, and fixed it up. And uh, got the knife, he started chopping the carrots. And, uh, helping the wife. Amen. Amen. Is that strange, brothers? Sister, look at him in the eyes. Man, that's a Tarisa Murumayum Maziso. 
The prophet did it. Under the anointing of Jehovah Shalom. Amen. He wants to bring peace. He must anoint you right. You must know how to do it. Jehovah Shalom comes. Jehovah to take over. In peace in the valley. Amen. 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 Let's just give me a round of applause. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Did the hand clip awake you? Maybe we can continue again. Huh? If that helped you, we can do it again. Okay, brother sisters. Amen. The Lord is wonderful. The same God of Moses came to Joshua. Is that right? And, and Joshua looked at him. Joshua and said, are you for us or for our adversary? Joshua did not run away. Joshua He came and he was looking at him. And the man says, no. I have come as the leader of the host of the Lord. Amen. Amen. That made him to feel comfortable. Joshua and he was told, remove your shoes. The place where you are is holy ground. And he quickly started removing his shoes. But in his mind, he remembered that somebody told Moses remove his shoes. And he knew this is the same person who was with Moses. And he is now here. He said, this is proof number one. Yes, I was with Moses. So will I be with you. The place where is holy ground. So he was sure that the same God of Moses is now moving with him. What confidence. Amen. You feel good when you know that that God fulfills his promise. Amen. Amen. He was told how to attack Jericho. He went back to the army and he told them how to do it. He, he got instructions from the men he met up there. In one place, Brother Branham said, the one who was in the pillar of fire in Moses' day is the same one that walked out of the pillar of fire and stood straight before Joshua. Is that right? Amen. Amen. You see what brother sister we cannot progress on this journey if you have never met him. Amen. Amen. You got to meet him. You have got to have an experience with God so that you can trust him. You must trust in the God you worship. And whenever you kneel down to pray, you must know that he is hearing my prayer. Why would you waste your prayer if you know he's not listening? You must have confidence that we when I kneel down to pray, I know he is here. He is hearing what I'm saying. He is getting all my requests. And when I say amen, I know he is now beginning to work. I, I stand up from here under expectation to receive my need. Amen. So why do you pray if you don't believe him? If you are not sure that he can answer prayer, why are you praying? You must know him. Amen. Amen. Everybody, men and women, young and old, you must know him. Amen. Amen. The prophet said, if you never met him at the backside of the dead, don't you call yourself a Christian? Christian. 
Christians are them that have met him. Makristo ndo awa wakasangana nae. You need a baptism of the Holy Ghost. Unodaku babatiz kwa nemo ya mtsene. Is that right? This way, eh? He says, if you never met him at the backside of the desert, no communion. Is that right? This way, eh? You are coming here to prove that I know him. I know the overcoming God who is living in me. Is that true? Can I go further? Brother, Ama. If you never met him, can I use now Bobby? I was in Ghana. The backside of the desert. Who said he could arrange? No marriage. I could not grow up. I could not grow up. Did you hear that? Machines were here. Sister, that's for you also. Is it for Murio? Amen. Amen. If the pastor asks you, are you ready for marriage? Tell, tell. You must be sure. I'm not pastor. I'm not. Kana mfundi zvaka kufunza kuti wagadzira rekurorwa taura choko ari kuti handina muya mutseni I'm looking at you Ndakatokutarisa so that it sings kuti zvinyatso kudzika Amen Amen Brothers you must hear that Ama munofana kuve nemuya mutseni Amen Amen. Don't talk about marriage. Without the Holy Ghost. Is that right? This is right. So the first things first. Because the Holy Ghost knows where the money is. For the marriage. Otherwise, you're going to be stealing money from people. You must be sure and you must be honest. We don't want to come and eat supper in your house all the time because we're coming to fix issues. And must also eat at home. Every day I'm at your house. Same house. Until I know all the recipes you have. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We want you to sing There's peace in the valley. Amen. Amen. And tell us the truth. When you say, How are you, brother? Say, I'm fine. Is everything all right? You must tell us, Yes, it's all right. Tell us, He beat me up. Brother, he is not a man. He is not brave enough to face other men out there. He is not a man. 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 He is Amen. Brothers, without you meeting him at the backside of the desert, he is not a man. Don't you ever preach. Amen. Don't you ever say, I feel like preaching. Forget about that feeling. Because it's the Holy Ghost that is a preacher. The Holy Ghost is a prophet. The Holy Ghost is a teacher. The Holy Ghost is an evangelist. Not you. It's the Holy Ghost who is doing everything in you. Is that right? This so way. what does that mean? It means everybody must receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Is that true? Yes. There must be a group in this end time that is baptized of the Holy Ghost that is ready to take the message on. Amen. Amen. Does God trust you enough with the same message that Malachi had? That's a powerful question, right? Does God Trust you enough with the message that he gave to Malachi. 
Are you able to run the way he was running? Are you able to live the way he was living with the Branham? With the gossip you have? With the temper tantrums you have? Can he trust you with that? Brother? You, don't, you borrow money, you don't even return. You don't even want to see those brothers you borrow money from. Are you following me? Message of Malachi 4. To be put in your laps. With this kind of a life. Every night. After you walk around town. We, we have to fix up your neck a little bit with hot water and everything. Because you are just turning like this. <laughs> and he gives you the message. Are you sure, brother? Are you sure? Are you sure? Does God trust you enough? Does God trust you enough? To let you handle the message that he gave to Malachi 4. Do you know, that is the ministry in this end time. To prophesy again. Amen. Amen. To all peoples and nations and tongues and kings. That is our ministry. Is that right? So, there, verse 7 is for Brother Branham. Verse 7, dear Brother Branham, you are not there. You are That's not your scripture. In the days of the voice of the seventh angel. You're not seventh angel. So that scripture was one man. Is that right? Let's read ours. Verse 8. Verse 8. This is where we are. Brother Branham. Brother Branham did not read from here. Verse 8 to 11. Verse 8 to 11. It was not his scripture. That's not his ministry. But we must read it. That is where we are. Amen. And we ask that Almighty God would magnify our office. Let him magnify our ministry. Because we know the scripture that is describing us. Amen. Are your eyes open? Do you want to know where your ministry is today? Amen. Amen. And the voice which I heard from heaven, that other one. So it is coming again. Speak to me again. Do you know the meaning of the word again? Brother Marunya is the only one who can describe that one. Brother Marunya, do you know what I'm saying? Because he is again. Again is repeating. It has been done, it's been done again. Over. It's a repeat. So the first voice, that voice that I heard at the beginning, which spoke from heaven, Amen. Speak unto me again. Is that right? And say, Go. Take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which stand upon the sea and upon the earth. Didn't the Bible tell you in verse 1 and 2 that this mighty angel had a little book open? Is that true? But in chapter 5 of the book of Revelation the book was closed. Is that right? The book was closed. But chapter 10, the book is open. And the voice says, You, 
Before, go iwe. and take the little book and I will not book that book. is already open. In other words, it's revealed. It's no longer closed. It's revealed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it is revealed, it means the book is open. You have got access. One to know what is written here. If it is closed, you've got no idea of what's inside. And you can't even read. Because it is closed. But when it is open, you've got an access, brother. You have got the privilege to read through and know what is in the inside. Is that true? This is what he said. This is what he said. And I went to the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you still around? Are you, are you getting what he's saying here? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I was just checking on something here. Okay? Amen. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. And ate it up. Amen. Amen. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten, as eaten it, as my belly was bitter. The prophet describes this like this. When we are enjoying, when we are hearing the word of God being preached, even sisters can jump up. Brothers are rejoicing because the entrance of the word of God is so sweet. Is that right? You enjoy that because it is the word of God. But when you go back now into your normal places, you begin to live that word out. That is where the hardship comes. Is that right? When we were young, most of our, 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 our contemporaries, you receive the message. Amen. You rejoice that this is it. There's Maka, nothing better than this. Maka fara mukati is in this. Akuna zirina ni kudari kai. Going back home. That's okay. Good Zimba. Your parents are some other denomination. Ma bereko wako ano tendo kuna rime sangano. And you tell them. Wawa uza. I got something new. Da kamu chira shoko i. I got a message. Dine shoko. Amen. Your parents say what? Ma bereko wako tchi. You want to bring another another church in my house? Uda kuunza ime church mumba manguin. You make a choice. Tora saruzo. Amen. You make a choice. Saruza. Whether you want to take that message and get out of here or come back home to the old church and you stay here. Old timers. How many of you heard that? <laughs> yes, Sister Rudo, I know that. It was not easy. <laughs> Your parents checking you out of the house. Amen. Amen. We don't find fault in, in them doing that. Fulfillment of scripture. Is that right? And number two, there's nothing good that will ever happen without you having hardships in it. If you don't have trials and temptation as a Christian, you're going to be a weakling. But strong Christians are hardened up by trials and things. Amen. 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 The Bible calls it fairy trials. Amen. 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 All those old timers that went through this. Brother, you can never shake them. They remain strong. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter what comes. Brother, they are like a rock of ages. Amen. Amen. Brother, whatever comes, it will find them there. If the winds pass, 
Il faut que tu te Non, on a la caméra. Et le wind will go and make the circles and circles. It will come back to see them. Mais il faut que tu te dis. Non, on a la caméra. Amen. You young people. That just came in the message. Look for these old madalas I'm talking about. Sit down with them and ask what happened. Amen. The strength that they are having today. Is not of today. Is of yesterday. Is alright? Sweet. As you enjoy that. Is alright? Well, some of the parents told you. You cannot do that. Get out of here. I don't want to see you here again. Amen. Some of the madalas here we have. When they came in the message, there are some little. Jezebel was around. You, you're getting what I'm saying? But you want to keep your Jezebel. But when, when they got the message, the new Jezebel is gone. And the Jebusite is gone. Amen. Amen. And he will go back and tell, and tell this uh, Moabite woman and say, look, I now believe the message. That issue is gone. Don't write me any letter. There were no cell phones then. There was no texting. It was letter writing, okay? So you tell them, don't write me a letter again. And the girl begins to cry. I'm going to hang myself. I'm going to commit suicide. And the brothers will come back and say, you know, that girl says she's going to die. She is lying. She will never die. Keep holding on and say, forget about it. Brother, we never heard of any news of somebody who died. Never happened. Amen. Amen. And some of the sisters will come and say, but that man is troubling me. You know what? There's no man who will trouble you, sister. It's you that is troubling him. By sugar coating what you're talking about. Because if you say no, it's a no. But if it is a no, but no. There's something wrong. Amen. 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 You write a letter to that young man. Tell him it's over. Tomorrow we ask, have you written? No, I haven't written. Say, come. Then we write the letter. <laughs> After we write the letter, you write it in your own writing, right? If you can't send it, take, give me the letter, I'll take it to it. Because we want to go with our brothers, with our sisters, with our mothers, with our nephews, with our cousins, and no hoof will remain behind. Amen. Amen. Hey, but the Breed of this day. Brother, you don't know how to remove the thought out of them. Because even after, after your evening prayer, you all lock the doors and you are sleeping. Amen. But the cell phones are alive now. Cell phone is online. While she is in her bedroom, brother, she is in Cape Town. You know, that pastor is old fashioned. They want us to, to, to break up. But you see, I cannot make you ex. 
You are nika kuti uzonzi wantaka mboda na nanae. You are always current. Ah, you are always ex. You are doing chaya chaya wechi manji manji. Throw that Jezebel down. Ramba Jezebelui. Flash it down. Jirase. Amen. Amen. Why would you miss rapture? Ungade kuraskiru anegu vutwa. Because of somebody who doesn't know Christ. Ne mume mune asinga zile Christo. You cannot do that. Ati daruba. You tell them to go and get baptized in another church in Harare. No, and the brother is here and she she's getting baptized there. Eh, you know that anyone baba tiza kuna ime church message muno Harare iwo uri pano iye ari kuna ime church. Then after some time, kwapera kangua she comes as a visitor. Akuya pano semienzi. And he's sitting in the corner. She's yeah, sitting in the other corner. Eh, he's just watching. And that's yaka gara kuna ime kona arungo dongora dongora. Checking whether she's responding well or not. Arukona uti arukunya tsukudaira ere chaiso. Come begin the message. So come on, Marizo. And God is going to bless you. Mariva chakuropa fazi. Amen. Amen. Do you love the Lord? Muno da ishere. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to read a quote. Tuda kuberenga zakata uro na brother Branham. God called men. Barume vakada na na mwari. Amen. Amen. Paragraph thirty. I'm reading. Paragraph 30. You must be one of them that's called, right? We hear this cry on the radio and in different places and coming from sincere hearts. Lord, give us revival in our time. And from letters from Christians around the world. We hear that cry. And it doesn't uh, it does something to our heart. To your heart. It's inspiring. It's uplifting. It's quickening to the soul. To hear the people of the Lord call for a revival. God and God has made a promise. If the people that are called by my name shall assemble themselves together and pray I'll hear from heaven. And so we tonight want to think on that. And remember that in the midst of all this cry, God cannot send a revival until he has got men in shape to take it. We cannot have a revival until we got men. God called men. God trained men. That's not trained up in the schools of theology. And of education. But rugged men. Of the faith. But God has brought up in the school of his rugged training. Is that right? This is the trials that you pass through. Rugged training. Is that right? Amen. Men who are not afraid to face the fire. Men who has come in the presence of God. And knows his power. And knows his omnipotence. And knows his healing power. Some men that's trained to know the living God. It's alright to train them by the word. By the letter killeth. And the spirit gives life. And before we can have this revival. God has to call out and train men. Amen. Amen. God trained men to carry this message. Amen. And they don't care uh, what the opposition is. What is he calling you for? To carry the message. Not just to be sitting in a message church, but you must be a carrier of the message. They are willing to go to the fairy furnace. In the or to the lion's den. Amen. Or oh, where, uh, wherever it may be. They are ready to go. 
Because they've been in the presence of God. I know that he is. Whether it's to victory or defeat. They still stand the same. That's the kind of training uh, God does to men. Is this what you want also? He must train you. Is that right? Amen. Amen. And it's very strange to think that God will do that. God trains his men like that. But he does. You know, we have an old song we sing. Some through the waters. Some through the flood. Some through deep trials. But all through the blood. Amen. Amen. God leads his people through great trials to purge them. And sometimes it takes years to do it. Amen. And as for myself tonight, I believe that right now God is training such men to meet the front line. Men who are going through and times shook from their feet sometimes look like whole things falling but yet in the midst of it all they know that living God and keep their face forward and keep moving on Amen. Amen sometimes you have questions why me? Why me? My trials don't seem to end. It's like on on every year. But brother so so looks happy. Sister so and so looks happy. You don't know. Go and talk to them. Then you're going to know that yours is better. He is working on us. He knows how to work on you. But at the end of it all, you are going to meet his standard. Is that right? The message contest. Paragraph 39. The prophet is praying. Make us fit servants. Forgive our past. Bless our future. It's a, it's a communion night. Before the new year. Is that right? Bless our future. Guide us, O Lord God, with thy mighty hand. Jehovah, Jehovah. bless these ministers here. Bless all the laity, all the visitors. Amen. Be thou with us, Lord. We are your servants, and we give ourselves wholly to you. For 1963. That the power of your spirit might have more preeminence in our life and in our being. Help us, God. Forgive us and help us, we pray. Raise up mighty men. Is that right? Raise up mighty warriors of the faith. Open this year, Lord, that the hidden manna the rock beneath the rock that we might see the program of God cap of the pyramids of our life put the capstone Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus Christ upon 
Each and every one of us. May his great, magnificent, and holy blessings be upon us all. May the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon us. May the power of the resurrection be manifested. God, how we thank you. Tonight, we are yours. We give ourselves fully to you Lord. Amen. Amen. He sees there is a ministry. There are some people. Some young ministers coming up. And he says, you raise up mighty mighty warriors. Mighty preachers. They've got to rise up. Because there is a ministry. He was not the only one in the ministry. But there are some young preachers that's in the ministry. Did he say, this is what is going on right now? The ministry of the bride, which has got the fivefold ministry. Is that right? Amen. Amen. We need them to rise up in this hour. Praise be the name of the Lord. I want to read from investments. Amen. Paragraph 18. Paragraph 18. Now, I want to thank Brother Vail. And able men to explain these things. I'm not a theologian. As anyone knows. I'm just having the education. I had this little brother here from the Moody Bible. Stand up and I thought. My, I wish I had the boys' education. And I trust that God give him the vision and will use him. Is that right? Amen. As I am getting old, as I go down along the road, that these uh, young fellows, but this is the thought and the desire of every minister. He is not the only pebble on the beach. He is not there alone. He has got a desire for these young ones to come up and carry over. There is a lot of work to be done. And many are laughing. But they have got to be anointed to get up on the job. Is that right? Amen. Amen. That these young fellows will come up to take this gospel. Listen to what he says. In a more powerful way than it is now. You must always wish the young ones to do better than you. But the old madalas, they want to step on everybody, sit down. Don't come. Let them come. Let them be more powerful. Brother, I enjoy sitting at the back. Seeing the young people with it. Amen. And they can show that they the God of all. Like Brother Bram says, if your, your teammate has got the ball, don't go take it away. If he still has got the strength, give him the ball. So that he can score. His score is yours also. Is that true? Yes. So if there's somebody with a strong punch against the devil's jaw, let's give him the time. Amen. Amen. Not that if it doesn't happen in my church, it's not happening. We must thank God when it happens in the corner. Amen. If God uses somebody for that job, we must thank God for it. Young people, we are waiting on you. Stand up and be counted. Amen. You don't have to be laughing around. There are so many places around with our preachers. Amen. Amen. Stand up and go there. Because the work has got to be done. Because remember, 
we have a ministry. Amen. Amen. And we got to make sure God pounds on the devil. As the generation goes, and the enemy comes in, God keeps raising the standard higher. And higher and higher. Until finally, we'll meet with Christ. That's, uh, that's who we look forward to seeing. Amen. Amen. Oh, may God help us. I want to read from ever present waters from the rock. Ever present water from the rock. Amen. He's praying right at the end of the message. But the Branham called for an altar call. After he preached ever present waters from the rock. Amen. And this on this altar call. It was only young people that came. There was no old person on the altar. Amen. Because in the wilderness, it, it was the young people that were coming in and crossing over onto the other side. And he was praying for these young people. Yes, let us bow our heads in just a moment for prayer. For these little fellows. He says, Heavenly Father, if there is a coming tomorrow, if Jesus shall tarry for another 10 or 15 years, these will be the boys and girls that will pack the message along to the other generation to come. I want to believe if those boys then are the Madalas today. And they have got a generation under them. Still with the desire to carry the gospel on. Is that right? No doubt in my mind, Lord. But what all the days of their life they will remember coming up to this altar. And their little jewels, Lord. They are young and, and, and tender. Their little hearts are, are condemning I condemn this morning. Not even hearing all the message. Just come out of the room. From hearing uh, our, our sister Arnold teaching. Move up around the altar here. Give the little lives to thee. Now, Father, I've just got through uh, speaking. That in, my, in us dwelling the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, faith uh, with this Spirit does all things. Amen. Amen. And I believe. That this very hour, you forgive every sin that they have committed. And I'm asking you, with all the faith that's in my heart, that you keep their little lives down through the road. And may they never stray from this way. You become part of the Bible. God told Ezekiel, He the prophet. He said, take the scroll and eat it. The same way it is in, in chapter 10. Is right? Then the prophet and the scroll became part of each other. I like that. Amen. Amen. If it was true for the Old Testament. How true is it in our day? Amen. Amen. The prophet and the scroll became one. And that's a believer when he received the Holy Spirit. When you receive the Holy Spirit, and you take the scroll, which is the word of God, you and the scroll, you are part of each other. Amen. Amen. Amen.
The Holy Spirit wrote the Bible. And the Spirit of God is the Word of God. My words are spirit. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. That's Hebrews 13.8. Says he is the same yesterday. Today and forever. And when you are part of that Word. Then let something come up contrary to that word. There is a little buzzer sets off right quick. It's to warn you that that is on the road. We should never do that. Amen. Amen. There is also. So we know exactly what we believe. These thirsts are just natural. They are natural for the Christian. They are natural for the human being. We need that. Is that right? Things that are to be. Paragraph 14. And I believe that the same thing we live in today. Hallelujah. God bearing record of this word. By vindicating what he says. He will do. Now we know. That this is the day of salvation. Amen. Where God is calling men from the world. From a life of sin. Into a life of service. in the day that God has poured out his spirit from on high. Great signs and wonders are to accompany the ministry of this day. Are you seeing that? Accompanying the ministry of, ministry of this day. Amen. 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 When the former and the latter rain are falling together. And we know that there is supposed to be a great signs and wonders. Which in many great denominations this is tender. But I'm very thankful for these open doors that I have heard to go into and the inspiration it gives to the young men like your, like your pastor here that calls them as I'm beginning to get old but the ministry continues is that right? and I know but my days are numbered and know now that these young men can take this message and sweep it on to the coming of the Lord. If it doesn't come in my generation, which I'm hoping to see him, I look daily for him. Watch, keeping myself prepared for that hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see? Brother Branham is aware that these people that's receiving the message they're carrying it over and he's talking about you. Don't push it to somebody else. You are in the ministry. Great signs and wonders have got to happen in our day to accompany this ministry. Is that right? Because you believe the message. You believe the word of God. And the Bible says, this sign shall follow them that believe. You keep believing the word. And watch what God is going to do. It's not you performing the miracle. But it is God who has got to do it. Is that true? We are living in the last day. If there is anything that still has got to be done. Before we have a body change, it must happen through you. Don't, 
don't, don't push it to somebody else. You tell the Lord I'm ready for it. If something has got to be done, if nobody goes, I'm ready to go. If nobody wants to do it, I'm ready to do it. If everybody doesn't want to be used of you, I want to be used. I, I, I sanctify myself for the use of the gospel. I am your vessel. Use me. Whenever you need somebody, I'm available. I am ready. Is that you, brother, sister? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this. I close with this quote. Putting on the whole armor of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Zino. God fortified his army. What words? Himself. In the form of prophets. Apostles. Apostora. Teachers. Pastors. Of course, evangelists. What did he do? What does what was God doing? Listen. Did you ever think what that office of the church is? Is God's dress. God's inside dress. An apostle. A prophet. A seer. Four C. Before Satan ever gets to it. Satan asatam busika pasiri. Dan told it. Sinenge sato tauru akari. What is it? Chi. God dresses up His church. Muari mano shonge zakereke yamu. Amen. These offices. Ma office aya. Is God's dress wear. Do anzi zamari zeku feka. Hey, do you hear that? Masin zoele. Amen. When you see. Those offices. Pastor, teachers, evangelists. What is that? That's God's, God's dress wear. Amen. Amen. Because the army must be dressed. And that's the uniform. That's the dress wear. God's presence. God's spirit. Amen. Amen. Working. Through man. And if that office denies any of this word, then it's not God's dress. No. Not that. Amen. Amen. That's what wolf, uh, that's that wolf in sheep's clothing. What's that fellow? Beware of him. Amen. But when he just takes what the word says. Remember that's God's word. Because he's speaking his word. But if he says, well, it isn't. Oh, my get going. Sheep is going. Amen. Don't have to do anything about it. Because because we must believe the word of God. Everybody that speaks what God said. He is. In the army of the Lord. Do you love the Lord, brother, sister? Do you see the day we are living in? Do we have a ministry? Are we going to stay put or we must go? Amen. The prophet was looking forward to seeing men and women. Amen. Amen. Who must be on the move. Even Daniel of old. He saw you and me. Performing exploits. In the last day. So let's do it. Let's stand up and be doing something. For the kingdom of God. Because all the other people that have gone before us. In the other ages past. They're looking forward. They're looking forward. To be seeing you and me working out something. We are the perfection. Those people can never be made perfect without us. So we are the perfection group to seal it up. Amen. We are the icing on the cake. 
Tisi krimu yenyesi kwa pakeke. Amen. We are the final. Tisi vya kupeti sisi. So every one of them is waiting on us. Vamu vose vaka mirira isu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God grant us grace. Na marivati wani ranyasha. But with the little strength that we have. Kutine simba diki ratina ro. With the little inspiration we have. Na kufemiru wakudiki kwa tina ako. May we use it for the kingdom of God. Na cha kushandi sira umambo amari. Amen. Amen. Like people that's running. In a race. Amen. You have gone through the first round. Second round. You have gone through the third round. You are now waiting for the last one. And people are waiting, sitting on the terraces. Amen. And they realize. You are in their team and you have got to make it. Brother, they will stand up. They will clap their hands. They will ring their bell. They blow the vuvuzela. vuvuzela. And calling out your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joshua. Joshua. If you were slacking behind, when they begin to call out your name, brother, the little um, strength you have, the little bit that is that is remaining in you, you feel I must not disappoint them. With the vuvuzela going, with the bells, with the whistle, brother, with the screaming, you feel like I must do it for you for the last brother you run like never before you are now running like you're even beginning it's a right brother the little bit of time we have let's do it the best let's live a Christian life just like we are starting living a Christian life let's like Let's do it like we're starting afresh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are waiting on us. On the other side. One day, one day. We're going to have a change of the body. We won't be in this one again. But we are going to be on the other side. Isn't God good? Isn't he wonderful for you? His message is good. And we love it. With all that's within our hearts. Let's turn upon our feet. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. I got another old song. We have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. You know that song? Okay. These are for old timers now. We have a message of the, from the Lord. You must punctuate it very well. Hallelujah. Don't wait for people to say hallelujah on your behalf. Do it yourself. Hey, there we are. I have a message from the Lord. Amen. Then you must shout hallelujah. I want to hear the shout from you because you are victorious. Amen. Amen. It's a message to you. It's, it's recorded in the in his word. Then you shout another hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Amen. <laughs>